Have you ever wondered about the truth behind JFK's assassination? Was it a lone gunman or a web of conspiracies? The assassination of President John F. Kennedy on November 22, 1963, remains shrouded in mystery and intrigue, fueling a multitude of conspiracy theories that persist to this day. At the heart of the enigma is the Warren Commission's conclusion that Lee Harvey Oswald was the sole gunman. Yet this theory has been met with widespread disbelief. After all, how could one man acting alone execute such a high-profile assassination? The Warren Commission's findings have been challenged by other investigations such as the Select Committee on Assassination's conclusion in 1976 that there was probably a second shooter on the grassy knoll. And let's not forget the myriad of other conspiracy theories involving the Umbrella Man, the Mafia, the CIA, and even more bizarre claims. Despite ongoing efforts to declassify related documents, no major revelations have surfaced to provide conclusive evidence that could put these theories to rest. The Warren Commission may have concluded their investigation, but the court of public opinion remains in session. To understand the conspiracies, we first need to revisit the timeline of JFK's assassination and the subsequent investigations. The date was November 22, 1963. President John F. Kennedy was in Dallas, Texas on a political trip. While riding in a car with his wife Jackie and Texas Governor John Connolly, he was shot and fatally wounded. The prime suspect, Lee Harvey Oswald, was arrested later that day. Just two days later in a shocking turn of events, Oswald was murdered in police custody by a man named Jack Ruby, a Dallas nightclub owner. This unexpected twist fueled speculation and added an extra layer to the already complex story. Following Oswald's death, President Lyndon B. Johnson formed the Warren Commission in late 1963 to investigate Kennedy's assassination. The commission's report, released in September of 1964, concluded that Oswald acted alone in the assassination, a conclusion that many have found hard to accept. Fast forward to today. Despite the release of thousands of documents related to the assassination, we're still left with more questions than answers. The most recent batch of files withheld until December 15, 2022 due to the COVID-19 pandemic, has yet to provide any major revelations. This timeline sets the stage for the multitude of theories that question the official narrative. Now let's delve into the heart of the matter, the conspiracy theories and why they persist. Theories around JFK's assassination are as numerous as they are intriguing. Some believe there was a second shooter on the grassy knoll, a theory backed up by the Select Committee on Assassinations in 1976. Others point to the enigmatic Umbrella Man, a figure caught in photos of the assassination who some say was signaling shooters. Then there are theories implicating the Mafia or the CIA, suggesting a dark web of political intrigue and power play. Adding fuel to the fire of these theories is the recent delay in the release of classified documents related to the assassination. Citing the COVID-19 pandemic, the White House postponed the unveiling of these documents, a move that has only intensified the mystery and speculation. With over 90% of the collection already open to public scrutiny, these remaining documents have become the epicenter of anticipation and conjecture. The mystery of JFK's assassination endures, fueled by unanswered questions and a persistent belief in shadowy conspiracies. Until all the secrets are unveiled, the truth remains tantalizingly out of reach.